I am tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over again. Every movie is nostalgia based. Just bringing back whatever old person they got from whatever old franchise. Every song is a remix of an older song that we already like. That's why I appreciate it when artists are able to go outside of what's expected for them and actually just switch it up completely. And do something that people don't even necessarily want. It's just what the artist wants. Like if we look at Kanye, this man is the definition of not doing what people want to see. Oh, you want more college rap? How about I give you a slow, sad, robotic singing album? You want Taylor Swift to win? <laughs> Sorry, Beyonce won that one. You want another album like Dark Fantasy? How about this album that sounds like McDonald's Sprite had a baby with a corrupted hard drive? When everyone wants him to do music, he's gonna do fashion. When he says he'll drop an album, he won't. Now is he an artist or just a liar? Yes. Every time Kanye is expected to go one way, he goes the other way, which is frustrating for people. Sometimes I'm pretty sure he doesn't even know what he's about to do until he's doing it. It can be a bad thing or a good thing, but it's the only reason this man is still at the forefront of the public consciousness, like 20 years into his career. Anytime he does anything, it becomes the biggest news. This just in, Kanye West has ordered a Popeye's biscuit and we're getting word that he's got no drink with it. This guy's crazy. He stays unexpected. It's hard not to get stuck in a box. Like when people know you for something specific, they'll start to only want you for that thing. Only a select few artists are able to step outside of that box and do whatever the heck they want. Jordan Peele was literally the goofy guy in Key and Peele. And I remember when it was announced that he was directing a horror movie, everyone was like, huh? Him? This guy? But he ended up making an instant classic. Well, get out. And now he's like the black Stephen King. Like, this is the most insane rebrand ever. Look at this. He went from this to this. Ariana Grande even switches up her entire race. Now that's dedication. Kendrick could have released Good Kid Mad City 2 and just coasted off the success of the first one. Nobody would have minded, but he went completely left and made a jazz infused album with spoken word interludes and crying in a hotel room. Ah! This new Kendrick album, I was literally losing sleep the night before it came out. Cause I was just like, what is this gonna sound like? Like this, bro. I have no idea, the anticipation is killing me. How many artists are there where I have that kind of feeling? Zero. I put on a new Pusha T album, I know what I'm gonna get. Cocaina, okay. I put on a Bruno Mars album, I know what I'm gonna get. Luscious vocals and production, yeah, it's all good. But I'm not like at the edge of my seat wondering, oh, what's Bruno gonna do next? First listen of this Mr. Morale album was genuinely a harrowing experience. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, some of these songs sound completely unhinged. I was overwhelmed. I think I went through every emotion listening to this album. I didn't even like 75% of it on the first listen through until I got to the last song. And then I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did I just witness a masterpiece? And by the time I got to the last song, it felt like I had gone through therapy. But the thing was, I had to get over my expectations of what I thought or wanted it to be at first. I wanted him to come back and immediately just go crazy, you know what I mean? Like, just get back on top of the rap game, smoke it on top five. Get back to being the GOAT, drop hits, I wanted bangers! And it took me a while to get over what I wanted and just listen to it for what it is. I love this album, I do. I do. I love it! The fact that I can close my eyes and just see the entire thing like a stage play in my head, this man basically made Hood Hamilton. To come back after five years and come with an album that's not going to like rule the charts, but this weird friggin' album about grief and therapy and becoming a man. Oh my gosh, this man's a menace and I love him for it. And now Kendrick has like five albums that are completely different. Not every artist is a Kendrick Lamar. I think actually zero of them are. There's not anybody else that can really do it like him. But a lot of artists recognize that lightning doesn't really strike twice. You can't always recreate the success of something again and make it still feel fresh. We move on from certain vibes or sounds at a certain point. If Lil Nas X kept making country music, if he just tried to make Old Town Road 2, we wouldn't be talking about Lil Nas X right now. Instead, he tapped into every genre he could and he's just a huge pop star now. Same way if Taylor Swift was still doing country music, she probably wouldn't be the biggest artist in the world. You see this in artists that were aimed at younger people, but grow their sound as their audience grows up. Miley Cyrus went from doing the hoedown, throwdown to whatever this was, to pop star and now she's doing rock and her voice suits that better than anything else. Harry Styles reinvented himself after One Direction. He's still making music for that audience just like grown up. If he was still making songs like, oh, you don't know you're beautiful, it would just be ridiculous. But some artists need to do the same thing. I know what I'm gonna get from a Nav album and I'm gonna love it. One thing Adele is going to do is sing over a piano, but it works for her because nobody else can do it like her. You're not beating Adele in a singing over a piano competition, unless you're me. I'm singing over 
by the new song I'm singing over a piano, 10 million units sold, call now at 1-8. But there's a lot of artists that found their lane and got stuck in it, even if it wasn't good for them. Lil Uzi keeps saying he's gonna go back to his 2016 sound instead of evolving. Star Wars has a whole galaxy out there and we've been hanging out on the same three planets with the same 15 people. If I see one more Star Wars show take place on that dang desert planet, there will be rioting in the streets. What's that? One's coming out this week? Okay. So some artists need to be reliable like Adele. But others reach their full potential when they go completely outside of what people expect from them. Donald Glover could have been known as the community guy or the guy that made camp, but he refuses to be put in a box. This man will get good at rapping and be like, all right, okay, well, I'm done with this. And then he'll get good at stand up and he'll be like, all right, well, on to the next thing. How about a 70s psychedelic funk album? Started his own show, Atlanta, and it's one of the best shows ever. You can't stop this man. You can't put him in one place. The best artists are able to step out of that box step out of their comfort zone and challenge themselves and the listener or viewer or reader or whatever it may be. You think Aang would be the avatar if he just stuck to air? No. Man needed to learn how to work with the other elements. Fire. Water. P. Well, you're a P bender. I'm not fighting you. Bro, what? what? Bro, what? It's the same thing with life in general. A lot of times we think we're limited by what people want to see from us, but we're only limited by what we choose to do ourselves. Yeah, you could be a nerd, but maybe you like to pop, pop and jam lock, lock and jam and break. break. I don't want to see a 30 year old man trying to recreate the same vibes that he made when he was 19. Which is why I don't understand why people want the weekend to go back to the like trilogy vibes. If we're being honest, this man has plenty of songs and albums with that exact vibe already, but people want him to go back to like the dark and grimy feeling when he was literally homeless, living on the streets, and a kid. He switched it up on his last album, Don FM, and people were not really rocking with it. It was it's kind of underrated. He's doing the 80s pop disco synth sound, and it's like perfection, but people are not messing with it. I mean, I understand it's not like like I don't want to see Weekend do like a country album or anything. Actually, that would that would low-key be fire. But I appreciate that I can look across his discography and see like a progression. I appreciate switching it up so it doesn't get boring. Just give me something new, please. Speaking of which, you go see a Marvel movie and it's like you know exactly what you're gonna get. And people watch those movies with that expectation now. That's why a lot of people didn't like Doctor Strange because it wasn't the same style as all of those other movies. But at this point, MCU style has gotten so stale to the point where just because they added color and camera movements, I was like in the theater like, thank you. Sam Ray Amy saved that movie from being the weakest movie ever. That man elevated it to one of my favorite Marvel movies just off the strength of his different style. The horror vibe that we never got in any superhero movie. I was in the theater like, <laughs> Yeah, it's got a lot in it too. Grab the audience. But people didn't like it, okay? You can have issues with the script, the characters, but the filmmaking wise, that movie was top tier. But at this point, Marvel fans just want like 500 random people to be showing up throughout the movie so they can stand up and start cheering. Yeah, oh my gosh, it's freaking Big Bird. Oh my God, he's Thomas the Tank Engine. He's not supposed to be in here. Enough. Shout out to Sam Raimi for just giving me something different, finally. Drake, who might be the MCU of music, take that as you will, has such a large audience that he has to please everybody. Because this man has low-key done every genre possible. Like, he has stepped out of his comfort zone. He has stepped out of that box. And he's done so many things. Rap, trap, R&B, UK drill, Afro beats, that now his albums are like a mishmash of every genre to try to cater to every audience that he has. I still think he's never dropped a bad album. Like, I still like all of his music, but I wish that he would just say, I don't care what y'all wanna see, for one album and just do what I want to do. One focused, concise type of vision. But it's hard to do that when you're comfortable and already making money. I feel like I've seen that with the best YouTubers. A lot of the best ones from 10 plus years ago aren't on top of the game anymore because they refuse to change with the trends shifting. Stuck to the same way of making videos or the same topics. And at a certain point, people know exactly what the video is going to be before they even click on it. It's easy to overthink what people want to see. I think the same thing about these videos. I'm like, oh, what do they want to see? If I'm talking about this, no one's going to care about. What kind of topic is this? Vibes are better than plot? What does that even mean? Forget what y'all want to see, man. Just kidding, but I can't be thinking every time like, oh, are you guys okay with me doing this next? Oh, guys, do you mind if I make a video about this? Half the battle with doing these videos is literally fighting myself. But at a certain point, I have to tell myself, no, I don't care what anybody else wants to see. I'm doing what I want to do. And over time, that makes it easier to not get stuck in any box and step out of your comfort zone whenever you feel like you need to. At a certain point, you have to be a leader, not a follower. Because if you're just following at every single trend or everything everybody wants you to do, you're not one of the greats. The greats are the people that are literally able to change 
changed the entire game because they did something that nobody else is doing and led other people to follow what they're doing. This man Steven Spielberg came through with Jaws and then gave us an adventure movie Indiana Jones and then drama Schindler's List and then a black period piece with the color purple. War movie Saving Private Ryan. Sci-fi movie E.T. Dinosaur movie Jurassic Park. Now this man's doing musicals. He can do anything. He was never stuck in one box and that's why he's the GOAT and a household name. Not everyone can switch it up and do it well, but it's worth taking that risk over becoming stagnant and stale and boring. What do you guys think? Who's an artist that switched it up and did it well? In music, movies, books, painting, anything. Or someone who stayed too similar? Let me know in the comments down below. And you might as well like this video because let's be honest, it's already a classic again. And I'm gonna switch this up by uh, doing something crazy. Uh, uh... <laughs> That's how we do it here. Huh? That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I get it. If I don't get it, I find it. If I can't find it, I'll make it. If I can't make it, I take it from whoever got it.